Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Here comes socialism. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. With Obamacare descending into chaos, the president and the Democratic Party are in a perilous place right now. Americans are starting to figure out that the government-controlled health care industry is likely to be a nightmare on many fronts. So why, why won't the feds fix this situation before imposing it on we the people? The answer is that Obamacare is just part of a vision for the forced sharing of American assets. The strategy is largely kept quiet, but there have been hints. The great civil rights issue of our time, and that is the need for every man, woman, and child to have health care as a right and not a privilege. I believe health care is a civil right. Although health care was not listed per se in the Constitution, it should be a constitutional right. You do have the right to health care and to education and to decent housing. Ms. Perry's point of view is a socialist communist vision that the state should provide all citizens a certain lifestyle at the expense of other citizens. If health care is a constitutional right, then everything associated with good health would fall into the civil rights category. So your entire environment, house, food, clothing, transportation, mental health, would all have to be paid for by the state if you could not afford it. That's a form of communism because no country could afford those payments without seizing the assets of everybody else. It's impossible. Right now, the USA has a debt of $17 trillion and growing. Some of that debt is because of wars, but most of it is providing entitlements and infrastructure, things like roads, water, police protection. And we Americans pay taxes to have those things. But here in the USA, there is a subculture of people who are uneducated, unskilled, and or have mental health problems like addiction. Those people cannot or will not provide for themselves. And that situation is growing. In order to provide for the have-nots, the far left wants the federal government to seize the assets of solvent Americans. That's what Obamacare is all about, taking from those who can afford health care to provide to those who cannot. No matter what the reason for the insolvency is, it doesn't matter. By the way, the emergency room situation where hospitals are mandated to treat anyone who walks in for free, that's not going to stop under Obamacare. That expense estimated to be $4.5 billion a year will just be added on to the colossal cost of the Affordable Health Care Act. Ironic, isn't it? Talking Points believes that most Americans don't understand what the deuce is going on in this country. Slick politicians on both sides can easily obscure the truth. But the truth is that the USA, at this point in time, can't afford to pay for Obamacare unless working Americans give up more of their assets, in some cases, much more. And that's a memo.